everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Jennifer, and today is a fabulous day. Today, I'm gonna to be talking about the new Chanel waterproof liners. I don't have all of them. I have five of the seven. Seven, correct, five of the seven. And I'll talk about the Chanel liners that I already have. I'll go into some details about these. Uh, I'm recording this the beginning of June-ish. Uh, I think they're gonna be out at the end of June, so hopefully this video will go up soon. But what I will tell you is that I've had these for a while. I have been wearing them. I have been trying them out. And spoiler alert, <laughs> they work great. They work really, really well. Um, they go on beautifully. They go on the waterline. They stay on. The formula does seem a little different, um, but if you were to ask my finger on what it is exactly, I'm not sure. Um, we'll look at the ingredients once I have them. I don't have the ingredients yet. Uh, when they get released, I'll get boxes, so I'll be able to see. So let's pull out the ones I have and let's talk about the new ones. Okay, so first, the new ones, there were there are seven new shades launching. Uh, Prune Intense, which is number 36, 38 Blue Metal, 42 Gris Graphite, 46 Vert Emerald, number 48 Or Antique, 54 Rose Crevre, and number 56 Khaki Metal. So the ones that I don't have, I don't have the Vert Emerald, which I really do want very, very badly. Um, and I don't have, is it the rose? I think it's the rose. Let me just double check. I wanna make sure I get it absolutely right. I had them lined up and then I knew the names and then I was like, yeah, no, I forgot already. Uh, is that correct? Yes. So the ones I don't have are the Vert Emerald and the Rose Cuvée. The Vert Emerald I absolutely want. The Rose, to be honest with you, I'm not sure I want it, but I'm gonna get it. <laughs> Because I have them, I'm like, now I'm just going to get them. Um, now, the seven existing shades, which is interesting, because they say seven existing, um, that I guess are being reformulated. Uh, Abine, number 10. Espresso, number 20. Marine, number 30. Uh, Noir Intense, number 88. Uh, Eros, number 928. Brune, uh, a page, it says a page, but I think it means agape. We'll see if that's just a, um, number 943. And then uh, Cassis, number 83. So I think, let's make sure I have all those. I think I do. Um, Cassis, I definitely have. Nor Intense. Espresso, I might not have a bean. Let's, let's look here. Marine, yes. Okay. So a bean I don't have, espresso I have, uh, Marine I have, Nor Intense I have, Eros I don't have, um, Brune Agape I don't seem to have, although I could swear I had that shade, but I don't see it, so I'm going to say I don't have it, um, and Cassis. So I don't have Brune Agape, I don't have Eros, and I don't have a bean. So I'm probably going to pick those shades up in the new formula. Um, Again, how I don't have those shades, I don't know. Uh, I could swear I had all of them, but you know, either they're in another jar and I've missed them, and I have so many jars that it's possible, um, or I don't have them, we'll see. Uh, what, I don't, I, what I do have though are a bunch of shades when it says seven existing, I have shades that I have bought, I don't know if they're being discontinued, or these are just the ones being reformulated. Uh, once I know more, if I know more before this video goes up, I'll make sure it's in the description box. So, um, khaki intense, maybe that's being replaced by khaki metal. I don't know. Uh, purple chalk, which maybe is the new prune intense. Again, don't know. Um, intense teal. I don't see anything that looks like teal, although maybe the, the new vert emerald is, although that seems odd, but I mean, who knows? Um, Noir, Noir, Enigmatique, I think is how it's, Enigmatique. Um, I, I don't know what they're going to do here because there's Enigmatique and then there's, um, uh, Noir Intense. So I'll show you the difference between those two. Um, and I don't, I don't know what they're going to do there. Um, uh, Blackwood, which is one of my favorites. And if they're getting rid of Blackwood, I'm going to buy like three of those because that's like my favorite shade. I also then have, uh, Psyche, which was... <laughs> 
um, a special edition. So this maybe is not in existence anymore. And then I have one that's way, way old, like way, way old called Jade. And I don't put this on my eye anymore, um, but I do use it for like comparisons. So we'll go through all of those. Um, we'll, I'll show you comparisons, the shades from each one. Um, and then we'll talk a little bit about the formula and how I think it's different. There's, I also have another Stylo Ombre Contour um, stick. I bought it in um, Claire, and I'll show you the other ones I have. Those are the Cole pencils. I'm not talking about today the Chanel pencils, um, the Cole like long pencils. I do have a couple of these as well. Um, I'll, I'll bring them into the mix, but those aren't the ones we're focusing on today. Okay, I just double checked, and no, I do not have all the shades that I thought I had. So. I'm gonna say this right now. Thanks to my friend, Aileen. If you're not watching, by the way, Amart Beauty. Her channel is fabulous, she's fabulous. She got me the sweetest thing. She got me a Chanel gift card for my birthday. I don't know when this goes out. <laughs> this might go up in like July. <laughs> but I just wanna thank her for the lovely gift card. And uh, I'm gonna be going out and buying um, Brunagape <laughs> Eros and a bean because apparently I don't have them and uh, they're gonna change the formula. So anyway, which is actually good. Like the formula's good. I'm, I'm not critiquing the formula actually. It's, I actually like it. But let's get into the shades, okay? So let's start with Prune Intense. I'm gonna try to make these like thick enough where you can actually see the shades. That's Prune Intense. And I'm gonna leave space in between so I can match them up with what I think uh, are the shades that look most like them. This is Gris Graphite, which is one of my favorites. It's like a sparkly gray. Very pretty. And I've worn that in a couple of videos um, that I've done. I just couldn't tell you what I was wearing and I really do like that shade. Uh, next one is Blue Metal. This is a beautiful shade as well. Reminds me a little bit of the Gucci one, which I cannot remember the name of, that has like more of a gray to it, but they're similar. Um, let's see, this is the Khaki Metal. And the last one I have is the Orantique. Again, I'm missing the Vert Emerald and the Rose Cuervé. I've also worn this gold one. I wore this when I did the top five, I wore this when I wore the, uh, when I did the top five Sicily video. Okay. So this is the Prune Intense. This is the um, Gris Graphite. This is the blue metal. This is the khaki khaki metal. And this is the ore antique. And I really do like them all. I think the shades are beautiful. Um, Chanel did not let me down on this one. I'm really actually very impressed. Um, okay, so the existing shades, the seven existing shades that are being changed. Uh, the bean I don't have, the espresso, Let's try the espresso. Um, next to these, the closest will be the prune probably. So I'm gonna put it underneath because it's not the same, but, um, but it's a brownie, you know, like it's not gonna go with any of those. That's espresso right here. Again, this is the shade that is existing that's being, the formula is being changed. At least that's what we're being told right now. Um, and then, let's see, Marine I have. Let's take Marine. Uh, marine is definitely a blue shade. Let's put it underneath the blue metal. You can see the Marine is a deeper blue than the blue metal. Has more of a navy shade to it. Marine, you know, blue metal, I mean, uh, navy. Uh, okay, Cassis, um, let's put that under the prune as well. Uh, 
again. That um, shade has more of like a purple purple. Like it looks like purple purple. And this one, the Prune Intense, definitely looks more aubergine. Whereas the Cassis is definitely like a grape. Definitely like a grape. I can swear I had um, a, a Bruna Agape, but apparently I don't. Um, okay, now this is Nor Intense. Um, there's no other... I don't have a bean, so let's put Nor Intense here so you can just see. Okay, that's Nor Intense, so it's like a black black. The bean um, is black. Uh, it's not as strong. It's like a, what you would consider... The Nor Intense is like what you consider like blackest black when they have that shade. Okay. Uh, next, let's go through the shades that I have that Chanel says are not the seven existing shades that they're changing. Now, I don't know what this means. Like, I don't know if like, so for example, Khaki Intense, I know has been discontinued. Let's put it under the Khaki Metal. I think they're replacing it with Khaki Metal. Those shades are different. You'll look when you see the khaki metal, it is more metallic, but the uh, khaki intense versus the khaki metal, the intense has more of like almost a gray. Can you see that? This one, new one has more of a green cast to it, but they're similar, but it is, it's a little bit different. So I'm thinking maybe they're replacing the khaki intense with the khaki metal. They haven't said that, but maybe that's what they're doing. Um, I know it doesn't exist anymore. So, okay. Intense teal. Um, I don't know what they're doing with this, to be honest with you. It's one of my favorites because it's this really, I don't know if it looks so teal to me. To me, it looks like, like a, a really bright, bright blue, but this is intense teal. This is the blue metal. And again, I'll go over the blue metal so you can see it a little bit better. Um, but it's not, it's not the same. So if, if they're, they're replacing it, I don't, you know, again, so there's, there's blue metal, there's marine, there's intense teal. Um, it looks more like intense teal, but to me it looks like they mashed marine and intense teal together and kind of came up with blue metal. Okay, next we will take Noir Annette. Enigma Teak, um, and we'll put it next to Nor Intense. Now, Nor Intense is not a new shade. Nor Intense is an existing shade that is being reformulated. Noir uh, Enigma Teak, I don't know if they're keeping it. <laughs> I don't know if they're getting rid of it. I don't know if it's been discontinued. Um, a bean I don't have. A bean is their black. But you'll notice something about the, um, this is the Noir Intense and this is the Noir Enigmatique. The Enigmatique has like a bluish grayish cast to it that I think is really pretty when you're looking for a black, but you don't want, like you want something like a grayer black, bluer black. I don't know, I really like that shade. I think it's very pretty. It kind of looks a little bit more like the new blue metallic, actually blue metal. Like that's a little more similar um, in shade. But anyway, so if you haven't tried the Noir um, Enigmatique, I don't know what's happening to it. It could just be fine. They might not be doing anything to it, but it's not on the list that I have that shows seven existing shades being reformulated and the seven new shades. That's all I know. That's, that's all I got. Um, okay, Black Wood. Again, this is one of my favorite shades. So if they get rid of this, I need to get more. Black wood is exactly what it sounds like. So where uh, Enigma Teak has more of that bluish, grayish tone, this has more of a chocolate tone, but it's still black. That's the uh, Noir uh, Intense. The uh, Enigma Teak and then the black wood. So you can see they're all blacks, but they have different undertones. Again, not a new shade, 
but it's not on either list. It's not either the one that's being reformulated or the new shade, so I don't know what's happening. All right, Purple Chalk. Again, not on either, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Really unique shade. Um, it's like more like the um, Cassis shade, more purple, more grape, but it has sparkle to it. And like a little bit of um, brownish gray undertone. Okay. And then the last one is Psyche, which was a limited edition shade. Um, I'll put it up here. That's Psyche. Um, it has more of like a brown purple, I think you'd say. It doesn't really look like any of the others. I'll show you Jade in a minute. Jade's the really old one, but I want to go through this really quickly. So here's the, ooh, as I knock over all the shades. Here's the new one, Prune. Here's the new one, Grease. Here's the new one, Blue Metallic. Here's the new one that's Khaki. Here's the new one that's Or Antique. Um, this is Noir um, Intense, which already exists. So the, the new shades are this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. So like I said, these are the new ones. And in the purple line, sort of purple, uh, this is Psyche, which is a limited edition. Romance was in this uh, collection too, but I use it as a lip liner, but I will pull that out in a sec. This is Espresso, because I didn't have any browns on here, so I was like, I'll put it with the purples. Um, this is Cassis, and this is Purple Chalk. If you look at those shades, this new one is definitely more aubergine um, than the other shades. Then the gray, that's the only gray I have. Uh, if Chanel had a gray in this line, um, in the waterproof line, then I've never owned it. Um, they might have. In fact, they probably did. I just don't have it. In the blues, this is the new shade. This is um, right here, the top one. Um, it's blue uh, metal, and then underneath is marine, and underneath that is intense teal. This is the new one. This is the khaki, khaki metal, and underneath is khaki intense. That's probably the most similar of the quote replacements or what I think are replacements. I don't really know. Uh, but the new one has more green to it. The Or Antique, I don't have anything like it. Uh, if Chanel had again a uh, gold in this formula, I just haven't owned it. Uh, and these are the three quote black shades. This is Noir Intense. This is Noir uh, Enigmatique. And this is Black Wood. These three shades um, are considered, you know, black with different undertones. The only one that is on my list is the Noir Intense, which is being reformulated. The Ebene like, is the black black. I don't have that one. Uh, Brunagape, which I don't know how I don't have that, is supposed to be reformulated. And Eros um, is being reformulated. I'll have these pictures up as I'm talking. Those three shades, um, the Ebene is black. Eros looks to me, I think it's like a, I think it's like a um, tannish brown, I think, but I'm not sure. And the Brunagape um, has like, like a purple to it. Um, of the seven new shades, I don't have the Vert Emerald, which is that bright green, and I don't have the Rose Corve. I just pulled out the um, Romance, which was one of the limited edition. Uh, this is an eyeliner, but I use it as a lip liner because to me, it looks pink. So anyway, I'll just put it here. But this is one of the technically liners uh, that was limited edition right there. That's romance. To me, it looks like a, a, a metallic rose. So maybe rose creve is the replacement for that because this was a limited edition. What was very popular. I don't know. I don't have that shade. So those are all the waterproof liners that I have. Um, the one other shade that I have, uh, like I said, is Jade. It is super old. Like, they don't even call this the waterproof. They call it an aqua crayon. It's old. I don't use it on my eye. But the reason I kept it is because I was like, you know what? They're going to come back with a similar shade someday. And I want to show you, I think this is what the Vert Emerald will look something like. That's it right there. That's Jade. So I'm hoping that it will look somewhat like that because that was one of my favorite shades, which is why I held on to this crayon, even though I don't put it on my eye anymore because I think it's, it's really old, like 20 years old. So 
Uh, but anyway, I'm best. I'm guessing it's gonna look something like that, or it's gonna be close anyway. We'll see. When I actually get it, I'll <laughs> I'll compare the two. But those are all the shades. Um, in regards to formula, the new formula um, is actually uh, very close to the old formula. I've been wearing it on my eyes. I haven't noticed a discernible difference in how it wears. To me, it seems to wear the same. Um, long lasting, goes great in the waterline. I haven't had any issues with it. I feel like they work as well as the old ones. I haven't really been able to tell a difference. And in fact, when I put them on my arm and I, you know, like put, like try to, you know, smudge them out, make them thicker, I can't tell a difference in how they feel on the arm either. So I'm not sure what's changed, uh, is what I want to say. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what's changed. Um, it could be that, you know, some minor changes have been made, or it could be that maybe these are better ingredients. Um, I'm hoping maybe they're better ingredients. I don't know. I really don't. Um, but the formulation doesn't seem to be affecting the, um, the way they work at least on me. I'm very dry though, so I just wanna put that out there. Uh, maybe if people have oilier skin, they might have a difference of opinion on that. Um, okay, so the other Chanel liners that I have, these are just what they call their um, intense eye pencils. I think I have like two, hold on a second. Their intense eye pencil, which is this. Um, I only have one shade in this, this is in black jade. I don't think, let's look and see if this exists anymore. There's Noir, Ombre, Black Jade, Marine, Graphite, and Claire. So there is a gray, but it's in this formula. Um, I'll just put it here for the purposes of today. This is a much drier pencil than the waterproofs. Um, there we go. And it's a, it's a nice shade. I like the Black Jade. Uh, it's, you know, black with a little bit of green undertone to it. So it's very pretty. Um, actually, I should have put it over here. Oh, well. Uh, but anyway, it's black with a, with a, a you know, a green undertone. It's very pretty, um, but I don't like this formula nearly as much as the waterproof. So I don't use it that often. It's just a drier formula. You have to kind of pull on your eye and I hate that. And then I have the um, Style Ombre et Contour pencil in Claire. That's the new shade that I picked up. Um, these are their coal liners. That's all they are. Um, I, I really like these. They're very soft. They're coal liners. They're really pretty. Um, but that's really all they are. They're coal liners. I don't know why they have to come up with different names. But anyway, um, the shades I have in these before are Burgundy Pearl, Electric Brown, and Beige Pearl. At the moment, there are five shades online. Nude Clot, Contour Claire, which I just picked up. Electric Brown, Rouge Noir, and Burgundy Pearl. So the um, Beige Pearl is not currently available online. Uh, it was a uh, limited edition. Um, so was the uh, Burgundy Pearl, I think. But anyway, um, we'll put these under the gold just so you can see. These are, um, like I said, coal pencils. They're softer, they're more smudgeable. They, are, uh, they have a thicker look to them. I'll show you the Contour Clear in a minute. Um, and they're, like I said, coal liners, so very smudgy, but beautiful. This is the uh, beige pearl. The one that I just put on is the electric brown. They all have like a, a little bit of a, a, like shimmer, I guess is the best way to say it. Not really a sparkle, but a shimmer. Um, let's see, that was beige pearl. Um, this is the burgundy pearl, burgundy pearl. Really nice, and it is still available. That's the burgundy. And then the new one I picked up, the Contour Claire. It's just a, uh, it's a good shade. It has like a mushroom color to it. It was not something I had. So you can see they're, they're thicker. Now let me show you the top of it so you can see what I'm talking about. It looks more, it's like the same shape, but it's a thicker crayon. Whereas, the new one, the um, waterproof ones, look like this. I pulled it all the way up so you could see it, how thin it is. 
All right. And so today I'm going to put on one of the liners, one of the new shades. Let's see. Um, I'm not sure what most people will be interested in seeing. I mean, all the shades are really beautiful, but maybe the Prune Intense. Let's use the khaki metal. I think a lot of people are gonna be interested in that because green becomes very popular. And the khaki intense, like I said, one of my favorite shades is now gone. So let's use this as a liner um, and I'll let you see how it looks on the eye. Still goes on like so easily, so smoothly. It, you don't have to tug. There's no pulling necessary. It just like, it glides, it glides on, which is amazing. I do use these as, I can use these in my waterline, even though they are waterproof liners, but I, they actually do, you can do that with these. They work well, pretty much on everything. And like I said, I have not noticed a difference between the formulas. Um, they've just worked beautifully. Uh, and you know, I, I gotta say, I'm very impressed. Are the shades the same? No. So this khaki, uh, khaki metal is not the same as khaki intense. Um, if that's what they're re replacing because they discontinued that shade, I don't know. Um, but the formula is really good. I'll be really interested to find out what they've changed because I could not really tell a difference. Um, so yeah, I'm impressed and I'm happy because I was really worried that they were going to destroy it. <laughs> so as long as the new Chevin, the Chevin that are being, uh, reformulated are reformulated like these five that I already have, I'm going to be happy. Again, the only thing I don't know is I've only been using these for like a month. So maybe there's less product. I don't have the boxes. So I don't know how much product is in here. Um, so it's possible that there's less product. I don't know. Um, still 18 months. The old ones were 18 months, I think. Yep. Still 18 months. So that's the only thing I don't know. There may be less product. <laughs> there may be something in here that people are allergic to that they weren't allergic to before. Again, I don't know. I don't have the boxes. Um, so we're just, we're just going to have to find out together, but the formula, as far as I can tell is the same, uh, when it comes to how it performs, what's in it, I don't know, but the, the performance is exception, exceptional. Love them. I think they're great. I am. I love all the new shades. My arm looks like a color wheel. Um, the new shades are, are this, this lane here. Um, these are the new shades. I really love this or antique is really unusual. It's a really pretty gold gold. Um, I like the khaki metal. It's really pretty. Um, this blue metal is also beautiful. And this gray is really unusual because it's a very sparkly gray. I don't have anything else like it, which is very cool. And I actually didn't think I was going to like the prune intense, but it's like I said, it's more of an aubergine, which is unusual. Uh, it didn't fit the other shades I had. Now I will tell you, I do have some comparisons that I'll be doing with other shades from other lines, like Chantecai in particular has some that are similar. But for today, I wanted to <laughs> focus on Chanel and the new shades because I felt like that was enough because there's a lot here and this is gonna be actually a relatively long video for five liners. Uh, but that's because I wanted to really go into depth about the colors that already existed, what the formula is like. And like I said, I really can't tell a difference right now. Um, if there is a difference, I mean, there's definitely a difference. They're reformulating, but I don't know what it is. And I can't, you know, based on performance, I, I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't be able to tell. So that's all I'm saying. Uh, and I have been using these for a really long time. So I know how these are supposed to feel and they feel the same to me. So that's all, that's all I can say. And I'm very, very happy about it. So anyway, uh, if I have more information before this video go it actually goes live, I'll make sure it's in the description box um, so that <laughs> you have that information. Put the video up so you guys have advance notice and you can figure out what shades you want to order. Again, I think the jade is going to be similar to this shade. I mean jade, uh, the, the emerald, the amarad. 
I think it's gonna be similar to Jade, which is a shade that was out years ago because that shade was super popular and people asked for it back, but I don't know. And the Rose Cuerve that's coming out, I wouldn't be surprised if it's like Romance because again, that was really popular and it was limited edition and a lot of people really liked it. So maybe, I'm guessing with the rest of you. <laughs> So thanks so much for joining me today, guys. I really do appreciate it. And I can't wait to see you in the next video. Thanks so much.